Hey everybody, uh, my name's Martin Woodward, Martin Woo at Microsoft.com if you want to email me, or at Martin Woodward if you want to shout abuse at me on Twitter. Um, I work on a thing called uh, VSTS, Visual Studio Team Services, as James mentioned, and uh, that's a collection of tools to help your software team collaborate, so agile tracking, build, release, management, source control, all that sort of stuff. Now, we have millions of people who use that you know, for real work, but we also use it inside Microsoft as well to build and deploy the tools that we, you use. You know, Office, Windows, uh, Azure, and VSTS itself are all built using VSTS. So what I wanted to do today was to just sort of spend some time and talk about why we do DevOps here in Microsoft. And uh, then later on this afternoon, I kind of explain why, uh, sort of how we do that. So let's talk about the why first. So to give you kind of some insight as to the, the scale of the problem we have to deal with, building the engineering tools for Microsoft, here's some vanity metrics for us. So first of all, if we look at the number of engineers using VSTS today, it's around about 78,000 people all working together in one system. Um, now, when I'm sat on a meeting, you know, really bored late at night, I don't know about you, I like to work out how much that costs, how much that really long interminable conference call is costing Microsoft. So let's do that here. So if we take 78,000 people, and if we were to save a second to their day, we could get three extra people for free, you know, the work. A minute a day, 160-odd people. And then if we could save an hour a day, nearly 10,000 people added to the company. Um, that, if you turn that into money, roughly, that's about $2 billion a year if we could save an hour a day. When I started... Builds were taking 19 hours, okay? We're trying to get them down to five minutes. We're trying to improve collaboration, so it's pretty easy to try and make some of that money back. It's pay review time at Microsoft, so if my boss is listening, that's awesome. Um, and some other, some just crazy big numbers. We've, um, we do roughly four million builds a, year, a month, sorry, around 50, uh, 500 million test executions a day. Here's the big number. This is why we do DevOps. We do 42,000 deployments per day. So you can't do that unless you have take this massive problem and break it down into um, lots of individual DevOps teams who are being working sustainably and who are trying to continuously improve. In Microsoft, shipping is a feature is a, a phrase that's been long passed down the corridors. We used to have these ship it awards in Microsoft, and they used to put a plaque in the pavement in the sidewalk whenever you released you know, every two or three years. We don't do that anymore when we're shipping 42,000 times a day. So um, we needed to do a culture change where we were releasing early, releasing often, and failing fast. And we needed to invest in our infrastructure to help people ship. When you're doing this, it's important all the teams have a common definition of done so that they're all delivering the same. We started DevOps by going to Agile. And when we did Agile, our definition of done was potentially shippable. There's a lot of wriggle room in potentially shippable. So we changed that very quickly to it's actually running in production. It's no good running in production really, really, really fast if you don't know if you're making things better or not. So we have to collect telemetry and then test if that deployment has made it better or not. And so that's our definition of done now. Who here tests in production? First of all, OK. OK, it's a trick question. Everybody tests in production. Your business lives or fails, depending on how it's working in production. So we needed to build some tools and technologies around that to help us uh, actually admit we're doing it in production and then work around it. So we have progressive exposure, we do feature flags, all that sort of thing. Because it doesn't matter how clever your feature is, if your customer's using it and if they're not getting value from it, then it doesn't exist, it's not there. So we needed, again, build a culture of just customer obsession. Everything is about getting value into customers' hands. Everything is about building this live site culture. What is running now for a customer is what matters. So that extends down to some of the metrics we take. Uh, these are the things that we do look at in terms of you know, what metrics we collect, and these are the things we don't. So impact, not activity. And it's also important we have sustainable teams. DevOps is about continual improvement. It's not supposed to be about continuous fire drills. So you need to build sustainability into that process as well. We do some few things which I'll talk about this afternoon in terms of how we do our teams. One of the things we do is we actually have self-forming teams, and they get to pick which thing they work on, which is crazy and scary as a manager, but there we go. Finally, the other thing of culture change. I don't know if you've noticed, uh, we've had a bit of a culture change at Microsoft. 
gone from that whole Linux is a cancer thing to, uh, you know, our new CEO who kind of likes Linux a lot better. Um, we're investing a lot more in open source. We've been doing a lot more open source. And you might have noticed if you were on the internet last week that we kind of went and splashed out and bought GitHub, which was cool. Uh, that's actually, we haven't uh, done the acquisition yet with GitHub. It's, gonna, you know, it's going through regulatory approval and stuff. So hopefully by the end of the year, we'll acquire them. Um, at the minute, they're two completely separate companies. But even when GitHub comes into Microsoft, as part of the Microsoft family, it's going to be a completely separate standalone division. And Nat Friedman, who's my boss currently, he's going to be their new CEO. And he's used to work on GNOME, used to work on Xamarin. I can't really think of a better person to be their next CEO. And now he gets to bring the resources of Microsoft and use that to you know, fund all this open source investment, which is great. I can't take any credit for this. Uh, what I can take credit for is I was the person who created the GitHub org on Microsoft, so yay. It's now one of the biggest orgs in Microsoft, and I work with a bunch of my colleagues in that org working on open source, which is awesome. And also, over 50% of our contributions now for some of the bigger projects come from outside of the company. So I just wanted to thank you. Uh, thanks for all the, the conversations we've had here at Velocity over the years that helped us improve our DevOps practices. Thanks for engaging in our open source, helping change Microsoft one pull request at a time. And then finally, you know, thanks for listening. Okay. Uh, if you want to carry on the conversation, thank you. Yeah. I'll get off quick, I promise. If you want to carry on the conversation, uh, I'll be talking this afternoon. Uh, there's a bunch of people who've been working at the, who've been manning, who've been at the booth, working at the booth, so Bridget, Eric, and Brian. And then finally, if you want a more techni technical talk, Elaine is going to be speaking the same time as me. Donovan speaking tomorrow. And then the um, always awesome Jessica DeVita will be doing, talking about retrospectives tomorrow afternoon. Thank you for your time. <laughs>